A war horse was no ordinary horse. In battle, it was a knight's comrade in arms. By nature, horses are prey animals, but the war horse had to become a predator. They had to be aggressive and fearless, to charge enemy lines and to trample anyone in their way. To achieve this, they were specially bred and highly trained to fight, to lash out with their hooves on command. This meant war horses were expensive and so conveyed high status. War horses were incredibly strong and powerful, but they were also vulnerable. This is a really big target, and it's much easier to shoot a horse than it is to hit its rider. So just as men wore armor, horses wore armor too. A knight didn't ride his war horse on the road to battle. It was far too valuable. Instead, they were led by the knight's groom. A knight would take multiple war horses on campaign, as he would need to change to a fresh horse several times during battle. Once geared up, the knight, his horse, and his weapons became a highly effective system. The heavy cavalry lance had a small ring called a graper, and this locks into my arm forming a hard linkage so that the lance can't shoot backwards on impact. The war saddle was also crucial. With its high back, it locked the rider to the horse. This means with the graper and the saddle, horse, man, and weapon are all locked together to create one giant horse-powered projectile. The main purpose of heavy cavalry was to charge straight into the enemy and smash through their lines. The impact charge crashed into an enemy with terrifying force. It required horses with exceptional courage and power. 